All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching You Season 3, Episode 10. In the last episode, Love, she killed Theo. She had to do it. He, he, he went to the bakery looking for her, but then he found Sherry and Carrie in the cage. He, he got too curious. He got way too curious and Love walked in on him. You know, he had the key, he was gonna go let him out. And she's like, Theo, I need that key right now. And she was like, promise me, you you're gonna go far far away from here and you're never gonna say a word but obviously you cannot trust him to keep his word as he was about to leave she whacked him with the fire extinguisher and it knocked him down the stairs and it's not like love killed him intentionally like that it's just the fall from rolling down the stairs killed him so rp theo horny bastard the funny thing about this episode is i feel like i know where it's gonna go like i feel like sherry and carrie are gonna die and joe's gonna well, Joe, I was going to say, Joe's going to end up with Marion, but he kind of can't in this case because what the fuck? He can't, like, he wants to divorce Love. He wants to divorce her. Now, how is that going to happen? I don't know. Like, she's not going to take that news very well at all. Like, she's going to tweak if he's like, yo, I want a divorce. No, 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 no. So I don't know what Joe does about that. Does he kill Love? I don't know. I'm 50 50 on that he could but then again that would feel kind of random that's kind of where I see this episode going but I feel like they're just gonna throw like a wrench at us it's gonna be something completely different so I don't know but I'm excited to see so I'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of season four will also be available on patreon and YouTube membership so click the join button down below but anyways Let's get started. I killed Natalie for you! Shut up. You know what I think would be really fun? Okay, imagine I only saw episode one of season three, then I jump straight to this episode and watch that recap, try and figure out what the fuck happened. <laughs> I feel like that'd be really fun. We'd have to waste a whole season of the show. Hey, if there's a show you want me to do that with, I'll do it. Fuck. If she sees blood, it's over. She's gonna find that for sure. Something is up with her. <laughs> Barely looking at me, Sherry and Gary aren't enough to throw her this off balance. Uh, the mm -hmm. Conrad, blood? No, that's Theo. He came by the bakery. Oh mm. no. I, uh... Oh no, we're so fucked. That's what she can't look at. Poor Theo. He's still there. Fuck. Okay. Problem or opportunity? Hmm. What do you mean, Joe? Elaborate. What do you mean opportunity? You can reframe everything on love and try and get rid of her. If he doesn't do something about love, she's going to just keep killing people. And it's he Joe can't keep covering it up. So he, that's how he's gonna justify killing her. If he does. Let's try for another baby, Joe. No. Of course, this all hinges on the only question that matters. When I go, will you come with me? Mm, probably not. No, Marion's not going with you. Theo, hi, it's me. Can you um call me and check in, please? I feel so bad for Matthew, dude. He lost Natalie and Theo, bro. I was too harsh when I kick you out. Just let me know you're okay, please. Yeah, that line in that shot. God damn. Hey! 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 Oh! Sherry! Oh! You fucking... Oh my god. Oh, you regret it now? Gary. You didn't grace me. You fucking you shot. fucking yeah. shot me. In the leg. Yeah, he could bleed out and die now. Oh, he's gonna bleed out and die. Love and I are officially separating. Hmm. Are you seriously? <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't know about it yet. You invited <laughs> me. We have a future. Yeah, if it was Joe inviting her, I would I would say no. But I, I guess she inviting him works out. <gasps> Theo's not dead! No, what the fucker? on no you have to Clean break the kid knows everything yeah if he talks How... oh dude he's pretty alive finish it no one would know i'm sorry uh... i'm so so sorry i will touch her again you think this is because you kissed my wife no he's gonna <laughs> No, he's gonna find out they fucked. Oh, you fucked my wife. Uh, what a mess my wife has made. <laughs> I mean, Joe, I, I loved her. Yeah, sure you did, bud. Uh, Joe, you don't love 
love anymore. You don't even like her, bro. You don't even want to be around her. At this point, I don't think he's going to give a fuck. But he's going to use it as a way to get, get away from her. Are you going to kill me? Or Love's going to find um, Joe saving Theo, and then she's just going to make sure he dies and just kill him right in front of Joe, and then Joe's going to kill her. Okay, Theo. I'm going to give you a little nap. All right. Carrie Conrad uses this stuff. I don't know why I keep saying, like, I mean, bro, the only reason why I keep saying Love's going to die by Joe is because that's the only way I can, like, see this season ending. There's no way Love survives this season, too. There's no way. And I mean, I don't want her to die. I like her. I like how we're focused so much on her this season, but I just don't see her surviving. Like, Joe killing Love is the only way I see Joe getting out of this and, like, actually being with Marion, so... Mm. Mm. Is insane. And Ryan reported in the Natalie investigation. What if Ryan was asking too many questions? Yeah, she's gonna realize that Joe killed Ryan. The truth was to murder him. The library fundraiser's coming yeah. up. My boss asked me to work late the next few nights. Oh, uh, Love's gonna put it together. That is no, it's Marion. <laughs> oh no. And that's why he killed Ryan. Uh, oh fuck. Love just realized. So, but Joe doesn't know Love knows, so... Suddenly her ex becomes all successful, and then when she wants him back, she can't, and it's like a crime of passion. What do you think? Okay, if Love kills Marion, Joe's 100% killing her. 100%, because I was only like 50% sold out Joe's going to do it, but... If Love gets to Marion and kills her, Joe, Love's done. Yeah, you were right. Joe's cheating. Oh. Alright, Sherry, comfort her, make her feel good. So she'll trust you kill him <laughs> he was abusive he, he he forced you into this i'll back you up and then you can let me out us yeah us you can let us out. everybody <laughs> he fucking betrayed you love you're a fucking monster <laughs> <laughs> yeah so are you it's like the only murderer in this room is you sherry love you're in denial bro you're in denial, but Love just wanted to make Sherry feel dumb, I guess. Oh, great. Was that not the plan? Oh, it sure wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. I. Oh, no. <laughs> the way he was biting his tongue. What does Love mean? Oh, no. Dude, what if Love has Marianne, like, tied up in the house or something? That'd be fucked. She can't know. She already does. <laughs> How could she know? I should put two and two together. Where's Henry? He's asleep. I'm gonna check on him. No. Say. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I don't know who I'm rooting for here, dude. I wouldn't eat this. I wouldn't trust it. I would, I'd watch her eat it first. Okay, okay. You never know, though. Amazing as ever. I'm a great cook. You are. And I'm great in bed. Pretty. Funny. <laughs> Devoted wife and mom. Yeah, I see, I see what she's doing here. A news guy was murdered. Ryan Goodwin. I was like, where do, where do I know? Mm, oh, never heard of him. He's your boss's ex-husband. Mm, mm. And I saw him at the library thing, where I saw her. Coincidence. You're going away for a long- Coincidence. I mean, what love knows Joe. Lovely. Yeah, Love knows Joe's willing to kill for the ones he loves. I just want the truth. You ever actually love me? Mm-hmm. The moment I saw you. I've been told in season two, episode nine. You got so upset killing objectively horrible people. And then I come to find out that you are happy to murder just for a different woman. Meanwhile, here I am doing it for you. A teenager, someone innocent. Yeah, right. I he, yeah, he's just a kid who you were having an affair with. We can do this if you are willing to admit you have not been perfectly happy either. We have both made mistakes and deal with this like two adults. Meaning what? Meaning we don't have to do anything impulsive. What oh. is that supposed to mean? <laughs> impulsive is the definition of love. James. James, mm. what you did to him when he tried to leave. Your mother knew and she told me. Here for Henry. Support him. Co-parent and give each mm. other the chance to be happy. Mm-hmm. No, that's not an option, John. 
I feel like she's already killed Marion or done something to her, dude. She's already I'm in the cage. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go check out him. Okay, I'll get him. Let me no, get him. Okay. Marion's gonna be in Henry's room. That's how she wouldn't let him go in the first place. She may come back with Henry or a machete. Yeah, just in case. What that if I did everything right, life would turn out the way it's supposed to. I mean, like, with James. I took care of him. And? You know, here's what I need you to know about James. My mom was right. I did. Mm. I did kill him, but I didn't mean to. What do you mean? It was my first time using it. Using what? The dosage was too high when ingested. What? What dosage was yeah. too high? What'd you... Aconite. Oh, okay. It's a paralytic. I just wanted to stop him. Keep him in one place long enough so that we could talk it through. Wow. <laughs> paralyze him. Yeah. Temporarily. It's fucked off. Jesus Christ, she's a psycho dude. So is Joe, but... You don't have to worry. This time I'm letting it... <gasps> absorb through the skin. Oh my... You did do something to the fucking food! You put the fucking alkali in it! Wow... Something to think about. You fucking... While you're lying there. <laughs> You fucking bitch. Well, at least he got the dosage right this time, I guess. So it didn't kill him, I guess. Fuck face ID. <laughs> I'm taking that shit off my phone right now. <laughs> They've used it too many times. Oh, come by my house, he's out, fuck. Emergency. Then, I'm gonna save our fucking marriage. No, love, no, there is nothing you can do now to save this marriage. What am I gonna do now? There's nothing Joe can do. He's literally fucking paralyzed. Hey, yo, come on, answer your texts. Unless Matthew comes through somehow. You kill Marion to save the marriage, bro. That's love. There's nothing you can do to save this marriage. If you do anything to Marion, it's go. Yep. Yep. And to their house. And he's going to find Joe. Yep. Shout out Matthew, bro. Low key breaking entering, but it works out. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck did she do to you? This, this works out because Matthew always expected love, but not Joe anyways. Where is he? Joe, what did she do? <gasps> what? He's my son. In the hospital. In the hospital. No. What love's been doing with him? Don't you? You sick fuck! Bro, I can't. Joe would say him, but he just... Natalie from me, didn't you? What? <laughs> didn't you? You knew. And you sat in my house and you said nothing. I should kill you. You should. I should kill you right fucking now. You probably should. Check the search history. You're a tech guy. Come on, you know this. Bro, why does Joe have an iPhone? Does that go against the contract? Bad guys can't have iPhones. Is that what you're saying? Blink and Moore's code, Joe. No police. No fucking help. <laughs> search what Natalie got a hundred times over. Neighbor. Damn. Weak spot will reveal itself. Weak spots always do. Okay. Carrie is a survivor, bro. <laughs> Within enough time, he's getting out of this damn cage. <laughs> it's, it's a matter of time. I'm surprised they haven't gone through anything like the jars to find the fucking key. Like, just out of pure boredom, I start going through shit that's already in here, you know? Until I met you, I had massive inflammation. <laughs> Undiagnosed lactose intolerance. <laughs> I had a coke. Every weekend. Okay, that part's gonna bash. That's very bashed. Until I met you. Uh, it's okay. The truth came out. No. Damn, I really, do, I really don't want Carrie to die, dude. I feel kind of bad for him now. Best dad <laughs> to the best kids. Don't forget six percent body fat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's gonna put that on his fucking his fucking tombstone. Don't you worry, Joe. It's gonna be over real soon. Mm, are you gonna kill Marion in front of Joe? Oh, hey, I um, got a text from Joe. That was me. Yeah, no, I should probably. If you have any self respect, yeah. you come in here so we can speak like adults. Oh my god. Okay. No, I'm bouncing. I don't care. I'm not going. If I was married, I would not. No. 
Someone watching, I know what's happening. I'm still, I still will not do it. Of all the men in Madre Linda, why my husband? Oh, fuck, he told me that you two are separating. It. He did? Oh, that's news to me. Yeah. What? He lied to you. So sorry, I... Like, yeah, Marion was under a different impression, so you can't blame her for that. Love's not rational. And, oh. Smart, deep, good father material. And something in me knew that it was too good to be true, but I just... What if I told you Joe's the one who killed your ex? Mm. Why would Joe... To protect you. Because he's obsessed with you. No, I saved you. I did a good thing. When he's obsessed with someone, he'll do anything for them. I should know. He was obsessed with me. Until he met you. Oh, shit. Hey, oh. Dr. P. <gasps> okay. Oh, Mary, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you know what? You can go use the restroom. Nah, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Marianne, what? No. After love like threatens you, walks up to you with her hand behind her back like that. No, you do not fucking know. Your beautiful daughter, you need to run. Yeah, I was gonna say love's not. She's not gonna be able to do it anymore because she saw her daughter. And why aren't you running too? It's not that simple for me. Please, if there is ever a tiny voice is telling you I deserve better, mm. listen to her. Mm. Love's not gonna want to hear this. That's your real, true love. And if you betray her long enough, you will lose her. It's facts, though, Marion. I agree. Did you believe love's lies? All right. Well. Okay. I totally thought Marion was about to die. I mean, I can't believe I almost took that little girl's mother away from her. The insanity you drive me to, Joe. I mean, she really makes being a single mother look good. You know, I'm actually kind of happy it worked out this way because Marion got away. She got away from Joe, which is good. Okay, long term, Joe probably would have killed her eventually, like he did back. So, happy for Marion. If that is her and Joe's end right there, it should be, but you never know, dude. I mean, you gaslit me so fucking hard. <laughs> I started to question every single thing about myself. Mm -hmm. What do you do, you're sharpening the fucking, the fucking knife? That little voice in the back of my head that I've been suppressing this whole fucking time. You better it was right. You're not, no, you're not gonna kill him. I'm not the problem. <laughs> you're part. My husband is the problem. Oh my God. What are you gonna do, you're gonna kill him? What are you? <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh shit! It wore off and he was faking it. Paralysis. More. Total fucking. And he got agony. her. I'm sorry, it had to come to this. Did you really think that I wouldn't start to wonder? <laughs> what you were growing in the garden. <gasps> Joe pulled off. Oh my god. Wow. Wolf Spain. Wow, he knew that. Paralytic. Time. No. Wow. It slows the heart. Mm. So I googled antidote. Wow. I mean, biohacking. Adrenaline. Well, who doesn't Terry have? came through. A little voice in my head told me to take it wow. before you played your hand. Wow. It was just, he's too good, bro. Joe's a fucking grandmaster chess player, dude. Joe just pulled a fucking Uno reverse card on her. And the hardest part was making the dose because I couldn't lie to myself. Mm. It had to be enough. I had to finally stop. No, would to kill her? <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> Alright, Fort Henry, man. R.I.P. Love. R.I.P. Joe got her good, though, dude. That was good. Jo <sighs> but love will be missed. No! No, 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 no! No, not Carrie, too! What the f bitches don't trust each other, mm. baby? They're the weak spot. You just now realized that? Come on. All right. Well, I guess they're getting out. If I go down too, what happens to our son? So, Joe, what's the plan? Can't let him get put somewhere like I was. Sometimes we need to start over. That's so fucked up. You can't. You just, dude. His mom's a fucking sociopath. Oh my god. Explains Joe perfectly. Even if that means protecting from. 
What? I'm sorry. He's just gonna drop off his fucking kid at oh at Dante's house. So he's gonna do to Henry what his mom did to him, kinda. Alright, go, go, go before they answer the door before you leave. <laughs> That'd be so awkward. Like they see him walking away right here. <laughs> like, Joe! Joe, I see you, come back, you know? Yes. Oh, well, he's blind, but if his husband answered, I mean, you know. I moved to the suburbs because I bought into the dream. It Judged from day one for my past, my body. Yeah, you're gonna make it look like a suicide. God is good. Oh. Okay, hurry up. Stop wasting time. You didn't even hear me. You didn't even hear what are you doing? Why? Why? Why are you doing this? Ah, why? Oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Ah. He had grown to hate me. I killed him. Better than a messy divorce. Oh, to make it look like she killed you or something? Yeah. And you feel safe. Jogging mm. your expensive. Okay, yeah, in her in her narration, she she said I killed him for frightening the jail. So okay, okay, and his toes in there. So he's writing a letter. What the fuck are you doing? You're gonna Jesus, you're gonna blow the house up? But yeah, this is Joe like faking his death. And yeah, he sent the email out. Everything she said in her narration, he wrote out and sent the email out. So okay. Jesus Christ, Joe. In the end, it worked. Means of two human toes, which were DNA tested RIP. Mm. Me. Yep. The rest of Joe Goldberg's body was never found, mm. but it was presumed butchered or worse. It was Dexter. Well, what's the move now? Go find Marion and be like, yo, love lied or something. Like, what do you, like, what? Marjorie Linda began to heal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Theo's good. Okay. I'm actually happy Theo's alive. I'm, I'm actually happy he is. <laughs> good work, Henry. Oh, um, he'll be good with them, so. I like that ending for Henry. Okay, the insta-friendly shirt's the real draw. <laughs> Instead of being prisoners of the cage, why not master it? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> They're doing a TED talk with, with the cage. Jesus. Yeah, technically they it's all good because Joe and Love are dead. Well, Joe's dead. Did you pity me when you read what happened? Did it erase the fear she planted? Do you still think about us? Well yeah, if she read that he died. She's like, oh my god, you're alive, what the fuck? How are you gonna explain that? Oh, Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Nick, his new name. Wait, is he not in America? Cause like the guy helping him sounds French. The dude helping him had an accent. Sounds like he's in uh yeah, he wrote yeah, he's in Paris. I will find you. I mean, yeah, didn't she say she wanted to come here? Alright. Well that was season three, episode ten. Damn. Alright. Ah, love unfortunately did not make it out of this. See, okay, I didn't see a possibility where she makes it out of this. Joe has been talking about leaving her for so long and the fact that she ki she killed her husband James her last husband James means that Joe couldn't leave her without her trying to do something and she was gonna kill Marion but then she she backed out because she saw Marion's daughter and she's like I couldn't do it I she paralyzed Joe with this plant she's been growing but Joe is always a step ahead he's a grandmaster chess player and he knew what she was doing so he had the antidote ready in his system and so it paralyzed him for a bit but then it wore off you know because obviously if it if it hadn't paralyzed him then he wouldn't have he would have told matthew or whatever you know unless he was faking that too i think he was actually paralyzed then and then it wore off and then he just kind of faked he just kept faking that he was paralyzed right there and then he fucking got her with a lethal dose i really liked her i really liked the actress that was playing her she was really good she played it really well <sighs> sad to see her go but i mean it was it was inevitable bro it was inevitable and like i'm happy that it wasn't just the same thing as beck again because dude beck feels like fucking forever ago now dude you know it wasn't just the same story as beck we had two seasons with love 
and Joe killed her in the end again, so. But this time, it was more of like, yeah, love was really unstable, and she probably had to die. Kinda had to die, not gonna lie. By that logic, Joe should die too, which he totally should, but then the show would be over. So for the sake of the show, they're not gonna do that. And Joe's the main character in, in Not Love, so it had to be love. But yeah, and then he dropped off Henry with Dante and Lansing, which I think are great parents for him. Now in next season, is he gonna go back for Henry or something? Like, I don't know. How much of a time jump are we gonna have next season? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. He's in Paris right now. Is he gonna stay in Paris for next season or is he gonna move somewhere back in the United States? I feel like out of the country would be pretty interesting because like every season so far, it's been a new, it's been a new location. So like, it'd make like, where else could he go in America? That's like a major city. He's already been in New York. He's already been to LA, San Francisco. Um, He could go to the capital of California now. I bet you don't know where that is. It's not LA, it's not San Diego, it's not San Francisco, it's Sacramento. <laughs> That'd be, no, that would not work. I'm kidding, that, that wouldn't work. Fuck, imagine him in Florida. That'd be crazy. So yeah, I, I actually got, I want him to be out of country for the next season, so. But yeah, that was season three, episode 10. Comment down below if you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.